All right, guys, so the concept today is pretty simple. When you bridge the guy with the tonsil, right, and the guy's forcing his way in like Chris was, basically I give you two options. One is you can jam the guy's strength with an extended bridge inch power like I demonstrated with Chris. There's many ways to do it. I just gave you one technique. Or with the shoulder jam, it's the same idea with a different technique. So you can jam his strength. The other option I gave you was the haka talki, which is for redirecting. So basically the idea is if the guy is trying to force his way in, you either jam him up or you redirect his strength. Neither way is fine. What is, the only thing you can't do is fight force with force. That's not fine, unless you're a lot bigger, then it doesn't matter. But you shouldn't train to fight people a lot smaller than you, right? So, um, in white Crane, again, there's this movement, right? From one to two. But if you look at uh, Wing Chun, we have the throwing Tan Zhou and Silim Dao, which is different than the pushing less out, Chong Chung Tan Zhou in the first section, right? In Cham Ki, we also have the Cham Ki folks out. You can see how they're related and how you can train it actually together. So if you do the throwing Tan Zhou in Wing Chun, if you throw both in the same time, and then from here you do the throwing Cham Ki folks out, so you can do that, you go one and two. So you're taking two movements from separate forms, and you can put it together as a solo exercise. Much kind of like when you're learning the one dummy form, you can actually take an isolated movement and just work on that. Same idea. So you can throw the tons out and then throw the champion folks out, right? So when Chris came in and I tons out and he forced his way in, I did the exact movement here. You're not gonna be able to react on time if you have to think. That's why this movement I'm giving you is not gonna work without chi sao sensitivity. But just as the isolated work, you can play with the idea of the throwing hands out, which you know from Silim Tao. From here, you go into the Chang Ki out. Now, when you first do it, you feel your elbows start to move, right? You start to pull back a bit, that's natural. Eventually, you want to stop yourself from doing that. Just go one and two. And loosen up your body completely when you throw your arm. And watch how the momentum of the arm movement actually moves your body around. Kind of like someone's pulling your wrist and your body 